Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World. We are out here at SeaWorld Orlando for Hollow Scream. And if you've been watching the channel, you've seen other videos about Hollow Scream. And we're doing little videos about scare zones and haunted houses and things like that. And here we are at the Bloodlight District. This is a scare zone they had last year, which was in a different part of the park. They've moved it up to the front of the park in a much larger area. And it's very, very cool. Still very, very cool. So take a look inside the Bloodlight District. The Bloodlight District is a returning scare zone to SeaWorld Orlando's Hollow Scream event this year. And I'm going to show you a little bit in the daylight. And then uh, we'll sort of keep going through it as the sun goes down. So you can see the difference in what it looks like. But uh, it was, it was uh, here last year. But uh, they moved it this year to the front of the park near the entrance and um, expanded it a little bit. So it's, uh, it's a lot larger. There's a lot more room to walk. And it was a favorite scare zone of mine last year. And it's a lot of fun again this year. As you notice, as it starts to get dark, the red lights come on, the fog machines crank up, and the vampires come out. And it is what it says it is. It's a blood light district, which, uh, you know, is the red light district where people sell their wares and their wares being their body. And in this case, in exchange for blood, since they're all vampires. And there's a wide assortment of vampires here being uh, doing their best to be spooky and sexy at the same time. And, uh, and it's just a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's silly fun with vamps vamping it up. And uh, I was glad to see this one come back this year. I was interested to see what they, what they did with it when they moved it. Uh, and, uh, and it's really it's not a whole lot different than it was last year. It's a basic setup and everything. But now you're just not crammed shoulder to shoulder in this little alley like it was last year. You've got a lot, lot more room to breathe, a lot more area for people to come and go, uh, which is, is very nice. Um, it, there was something last year nice about it being cramped because it made it a little more, um, I don't know, feel like it was a little more inescapable. But uh, this is, um, with it wider and bigger like this, it's a, it's a little less scary and more campy fun and I'm all for campy fun and not being cramped. But, uh, but yeah, that's a little glimpse at the Bloodlight District, a returning scare zone this year at SeaWorld's Hollow Scream event. Tons of fun. If you get a chance to get out to the SeaWorld event, I highly recommend it if you're in the area. It just gets better and better every year. It's, uh, it's the newest haunted event, uh, really, in, in the area that's like this for a major theme park. They've been doing it at Busch Gardens for, for quite some time. But uh, it's only been here at SeaWorld in Orlando for just a few years, maybe about three years. Um, and uh, it started out good as a good event. Um, but now it's really starting to grow and sort of, um, you know, f get a, a feeling for what it's doing. And... Um, and, uh, and it's really fun. It's really fun. So, and here you go. This is what it looks like in the dark. Oh, there comes a, a monster screaming towards us. Um, so there you go. That's from day to uh, tonight to give you an idea of the difference in the look. I really like it at, uh, you know, when the lights come on and it gets dark and, uh, and the fog rolls out. So, uh, yeah, definitely come to SeaWorld's Hollow Scream event in Orlando. There you go, that is a look inside the Bloodlight District Scare Zone at SeaWorld Orlando's Hollow Scream. Keep watching this channel for more videos about uh, their haunted houses and other scare zones that they have out here. We're going to be featuring those all through the haunt season. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers of be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. But thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.